What's good, Blaster Podcast? Welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Jet. Y'all, I just want I just want to comment on something that I just seen a couple of days ago, uh, seen today, a couple hours ago, and that's about this space called the Manosphere. Now, I hate that I even had to point this shit out, and it's I shouldn't have to, but apparently. When we get in their fucking feelings. So let me clarify. Let me let me speak to upon. Let me speak upon this issue that a lot of women are having problem with. Now, a lot of black women are sitting here saying that black men that are speaking upon women's issues in the manosphere, they hate women, or we don't like women. But I just want to ask y'all a question: If black men didn't like black women, Will we really be talking about the issues that y'all are having? If we, if, if y'all would have corrected the problem that y'all should have corrected years ago, will we be having this conversation right now? If y'all were having that conversation of telling black women, telling black girls to not be out here sleeping around with all these different men, out here having all these different kids by different men, if y'all would have told these women to stop sitting here trying to blame men when in fact they are the birth portal we are they're the birth they're the uh, they're the woman that birthed the children they're the ones that give that are the portal to life okay we all know this so when it comes down to the situation of how harsh somebody is because of what they say on their channel We've tried, black men have tried to be nice to black women about the issues. We've tried. Mo, you have several black women that's tried to be nice about the issues that black women have. Ask Monique, ask several other black women, well, ask Monique, Crimson Cure, Danica Marie, Dee Dee, um, uh, what the hell? Is that shit on fire? That's all that fucking smoke. Anyways. Um, but, um... Like, ask any number of black women that speak, that's spoken against the sisterhood. Ask any of them. They will tell you, we cannot get through to these sisters because they're so lost. You, black women, let me explain something to y'all. If you're talking about somebody's tone and not talking about what they are actually saying, if you're not actually giving context to what they're not, what they're saying, and you're just complaining about what we're saying, but you're not actually receiving the information, then you are, then you have a problem. You need to actually address that problem. You need to ask yourself, why you, why do you have such a, negative or bad issue with what black men are saying. And if a majority of black men are saying this shit, nine times out of ten is the problem with y'all. I don't understand why that's so hard to figure out. Y'all complain about what black men do. And we've, we're we starting to fix our issues. We're, we're fixing our issues. Not what I started to. We're fixing our issues. Problem is nobody can come in and check black women. Nobody can Black women can't, black men can't, white women, Asian women, white men, nobody can check a black woman. If there's a problem and we can't check you, you want us to protect you, but you, we can't check you, how can we provide adequate protection? See, listening skills come with protection. That's what y'all don't want to listen to. We actually care problem is y'all don't give a damn about what we got to say and then when something happens to y'all then y'all want to sit here and cry be like why black men don't protect black women excuse me like it's the honest truth y'all refuse to listen and then y'all get mad when brothers don't protect y'all well if it comes to the point where i can't correct what you're doing then there's no protection 
Y'all need to realize something. Protection comes with standards. And a lot of y'all don't even fit y'all own standards when y'all ask for, uh, when ask for uh, a dating advice. Y'all have to understand something. Protection, mean, protection means that we're going to say some things that you, lo you don't like. We're going to call you out on a lot of the shit that you do and you're not going to like it. Simple as that. It's not, it's not out of hatred or spite. It's out of, if you want to be completely honest, despite what we say about y'all, we actually do love y'all. If we went, if we, if black men didn't love black women like we, like y'all say we don't, if we didn't love y'all like we do, we wouldn't be calling out the bad behavior, the bad issues, the issues that y'all be having with other races of women and other races of men. We wouldn't be calling this shit out. I know, I know. It's 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 good to say black men hate black women when in fact it's the opposite. Y'all refuse to take you y'all refuse to look at y'all selves and y'all flaws. Y'all think y'all perfect when y'all fail every time and y'all not perfect. If a black woman was perfect, if a black woman didn't have had all these uh, didn't have any issues, she would be married. And hell, even the married women have their issues. But the thing is, they're married. They're underneath a man's protection. Y'all want protection while skirting the ability of responsibility. Y'all want to skirt all around the damn of responsibility to everybody else, but then refuse to take it for yourselves. I'm sorry, that's not how this shit go no more. Social media has opened up a lot of things. Men have been talking about this shit for decades. I've been hearing about this stuff since I was a damn child. I've been hearing about this stuff when I was in a barbershop with uh, grown-ass 50-year-old men. I knew, I knew the issues. I didn't know to a depth. That's the problem. I didn't know to a depth. But I knew about some of these issues, especially with my mom. But for the most part, I've learned a lot in my adult life dating y'all. And the problem is, y'all start y'all getting scared because men are talking all over the place. I mean, we we we've been talking about it. Y'all don't want to listen, so other races of women are starting to win. Damn. Yeah, I gotta cut my beard. Damn, I'm over here looking, looking scruffy. But yeah, just ladies. Y'all need to start. Y'all need to start to redact that damn uh, that damn black woman hates black um, that black men hate black women trope. Y'all need to y'all need to reject it. Send it back to the pits of hell where it came from because that ain't what that ain't what they ain't what it is. We actually do love y'all despite us can't stand in y'all raggedy ass attitude and that raggedy ass hair that don't come out your fucking head. And you know what the fuck I mean, that goddamn weave that's damn 34 inches long down to your ankles and you fucking five feet tall and got a struggle BBL and these damn big ass hop knockers up front for no fucking reason. We all see it. Like, seriously, stop. But anyway, <laughs> anyways, like, share, subscribe, channel support the podcast. Um, I'll catch you guys on the flip side and... I see, I see you guys later. Bye, guys.